Welcome back to another video guys and today I am going to be making your Punisher part 5 experience So much easier especially for some of you newer <laughs> players because we all know running that low-end armor Can get you killed so many times and waste so much money holding you back to some of those later on quests So I discovered a kit to make it super easy for you guys to be able to complete this quest in absolutely no time And I also have some extra strategies to speed this up even more so make sure you stay tuned to the end and how I'm gonna break this down is I'm going to give you an overview of the kit then I'm also going to show you some gameplay of me using this kit and getting all 10 of my kills in absolutely no time whatsoever but let's get into the kit okay starting off with the kit obviously we know for the quest you have to have a packer and you have to have a 6b47 now I always go with a cheap backpack to go along with this because you need to get loot out so you can make money to fund these kits in the first place uh, and then also you just truck on a terrible rig as well just to be able to store some magazines in because gone are the days where you spend a breeze through this quest uh, if any of the OGs back in the day when you could put um, combined armored rigs over the top of body armor so you'd have people in factory running around with a tag tech and then a pack of armor underneath and then this would still count so it would make it a lot easier but like BSG do they remove all the fun things from the game so we can't do that anymore they did it for balancing reasons or something. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. But onto the main reason why you clicked onto the video, the gun that we're going to be using with this is going to be the SVT. Now, I can already see people writing in the comment section like, oh, that was so obvious. Of course, it was going to be the SVT. We saw it in the thumbnail, but I'm going to explain to you the reason why the SVT is probably the best gun for doing this. Not only is it an absolute destroyer of worlds, it can destroy people with any body armor at any point in the game because of the ammunition that it takes it's also super cheap and the reason why it needs to be super cheap is because if you're running this kind of body armor and you're kind of like a below average or a bad player at the game you're going to die a lot doing this quest so realistically you need to save as much money as possible to get through this quest quickly and the SVT just does that yes there are better guns you could take to do this quest especially at this rank when you actually unlock this quest but you need to be keeping the price down on the kit as i said you're going to be dying a lot using this body armor and a helmet combination now when it comes to the modifications you do to it you can either decide to put a scope on it or not put a scope on it that is entirely preferential depending on what map you decide to do this on now there is the best map to do this quest on i would arguably say factory is the best map to get this done quickly so i would use this without a scope and just run factory but like me this time around most of the kills i actually got were on a different map so i took a scope with it uh, because then you get the best of both worlds you can use it close range and long range but I must say, I got some amazing kills on some seriously geared players with this loadout, and you're going to see it very soon. But before we jump into the gameplay, if you have enjoyed the video so far, please, I'm really trying to push for monetization for the channel. So if you could like and subscribe, that would help me out a ton. Now let's get into the gameplay. And in the first raid, we team up with one of my Discord buddies, Eggsy, and jump into Interchange. Because I also need to survive raids on this map, and yes, I'm still doing that quest because I hate this map. Player spawns on the right hand side here. I want to actually go up to the seal here. I need player kill, so I'm going to kind of like go towards right. the seven player spawns. I can't think of a better gun right now to kill players with than SVT with shit kit. I mean, it is the uh, chat killer. It is the chat killer. Oh, I see somebody. Right, almost. Dead one. Ah. Uh, I think I just killed both of them. I'm no, no, I one's behind them. I killed him. I just. <laughs> He waved at Jesus. me, I put him down. Oh my Jesus god. Christ. He waved at me through the bus thing. And I, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% like sure I just killed him. They're both juicy, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, he you waved at me, he put his hand up through the bus. Thing. I did. I did kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there were Chads. AS Val Chads. Fucking level 5 oh. body armor. <laughs> Oh, he has, he has a Tequila Rig. Tequila Rig and Meta Rig, yeah. Oh, he's got the Tequila Armour. Do you want that? Do you want to take it? Uh, nah, it's your boot. You've got it. Where's this fucking scout? Oh, right, he's dead. Oh, Woo! I'm right. getting shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frag. I need to... Uh, the wall somewhere. Two, like, Throwing a grenade. Is 
There's the wall down here to the left somewhere. Uh, where we come right. from. Alright, are you at the top of the ramp? Yeah, yeah, me up the ramp. No, I'm dead. He's running across the wall. Why? He's across the wall somewhere. And that is what happens when you don't expect people to change position when they originally shot you from. But hey-ho, because of that success, me and Eggs decided to run it back on interchange again to see if we could repeat the same outcome. Just without the death. Right, cool beans. Let's roll. I just, I just need to survive raids. That's all I need to do for my quest. Like, kill players, survive raids. Wait, you... Oh. Did you hear a gunshot, sir? I did, to my right. I want to go upstairs and then go to tech light and then just sit on the fucking escalators and then kill people as they come up towards me. Oh, I pray to God, killer isn't here. Well, the boss chance has got put up from that. He's 35% to one chance, so good chance of him. I've never even, like... I've never killed Killer. I've never sniffed him. I've killed him this I've, never, I've been killed by him. Never killed him. Killed him this wipes with the SVT. Oh. So what he's saying is... We have a chance. Up, oh, please. Wave one. Kill one. Ah! Scout behind us. There's a pad to the right hand side. Scout's dead. Right. Wait, where are you right now? Um... Over the right hand side. He crossed over to the right hand side uh, in between the brick walls here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was laying down, just shot at me. He was, he's laying down, like, over to the left, so, like, far left. Like, down the corridor right. on the left hand side. Good enough, Scav. Probably just better off rushing this guy. 2v1. Killed him, he's dead. Nice. Nice, another two kills. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Bruh. This, is, this is proving to be much easier than what it normally is. Oh, do, actually, do, do, I have buff, the, do I have the Do a buff list? juicy as well. Oh, yeah, MPX guy. Love that. Alright, salute this other guy. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's all yours, mate. Level 53, this guy was. That's why I fucking got down. Level 35. And with another two dog tags to add to my collection, that's four out of the ten kills. Now to leave and repeat the same process. Back to interchange we go. If you like Google it and watch a video, it's quite simple to be fair. Like if you just watch it, it's actually like it's quite... a pro. Oh, no. Bah, ow. Goodbye, Eggsy. <laughs> <It's a bit laughs> Yo, there's a big fight in the PMT down here. Get on this. More PMT kills than me. I'm going to get these guys, you watch. I'm hoping to be able to get a good lot of sun on these guys from down there. Go with the sneaky baruki method. I am. It's the only like hill range I can see. They're like under that. Or back here somewhere. That's now inside. I don't see anybody. Keep your eyes pulled eggs, let me know if you see anybody. Or I'm watching it in 8-bit. In 8-bit? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why? My internet shit. Dog shit, mate. Woo! Hello, big boy. How you doing there? <laughs> oh, one dead. Make sure the voice died him before I killed him. <laughs> What's the two? I don't know, we'll find out in a second. Oh no, oh no, this is where the fight happens. Look at all these dead bodies. Did you, did you peek up corner and kill one straight away? Don't think so. No way, I don't think so. No, body dog tags. Oh no, no. This is the, this is the victor of the fight, I'm pretty sure. This is the guy who won the fight. This is why the SVT is just disgusting. Like I said, even a close range there, just a point fire. I obviously sh either shot him in the chest or the head. It's all his body armor. It's like, I shot him in the head. <laughs> and don't you just hate to be that guy who ends up being the victor of a really awesome fight and then ends up getting third partied by me and killed by an SVT. I like you, mate. GG's. But I then hoover up all of the loot and then get out and move them to the next raid. And the remaining raids were on stream the next day. And I actually end up doing factory for the remaining of them because I think personally this is the easiest map to get this done. So now I just take the site off the SVT and run irons. That guy has not got ears on. You're not listening buddy! 
Surely he's not doing stirrup. Surely he's not doing stirrup chat. This late in the wipe doing stirrup? No, surely not. <laughs> so I <laughs> feel bad for that guy if he is though. Jesus, couldn't think of a worse time. Well, obviously a little bit later on in wipe, but it'd be worse, but. It's a pretty bad time regardless. That guy looks like he's doing toggle shooter part part three. What the hell's going on, chat? That guy using a Mosin. I think it was a Mosin, right? Right, two down, three to go. Best gas bro. Ooh. He was trying to line up and show on me. What the hell? What are these guys? What are these guys in this raid? What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> he was obviously sitting there. I couldn't hear him. And he was <laughs> sitting there trying to line like a head chop up on me or something. <sighs> Poor guy. Right, three down, two to go. <laughs> Wait, chat. Do we do we get the uh do we do this in one raid? Oh no, there's, there's a dead guy here. I didn't kill this guy. Wait, how does he die? I didn't hear this. I didn't hear this fight. There's either one guy left or nobody left. There's a dead player. I've killed three. That ends up being the last guy, so I loot up and then reset. Right, were those shots above me or outside? Sorry, my friend. You just are dead. <laughs> That was like the worst possible place he could have gone. You make so much noise when running up those stairs. Oh, Jesus. GG. The extra shots were just to guarantee that he died, but he's definitely dead. <laughs> God, I didn't hear the death noise, though, but he's dead. He's definitely dead. Oh, they sound juicy. Sounds like a juicy guy back there. Yo, where was that guy? That was a KS guy. I couldn't even see him. I didn't even watch the replay. No idea where he was. Couldn't see him. Rats! Oh my god, look at that name. Get killed like that with a name like that. Jesus Christ. Do you want to be careful? I've only got the 10 round mags. That sounds like a pistol. Jesus Christ. Try a mobile. I'll, I'll get a sword. I'll send you one in a minute. Yeah, buddy. And there we go. That's the final kill for the quest. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Your boy no longer needs to be here. You reset. I don't know why that didn't work.